Hey guys, it's Hayden the Next Gen Collector. And uh, today, obviously, just want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed. We hit our 100 subscriber first milestone of the channel, and we're going to be giving away these books. Uh, stay tuned to the end. I'm going to let you guys know the hashtag to drop down in the comments of this video to get entered. And then next week's video, I will do the randomizer and then reveal who the winner was and post on the community page and my Instagram. But before we get into that, I want to showcase some pickups that I got off what night from uh, Chillectables, mispronouncing that, I'm sorry. Uh, they were running a, basically on Whatnot, they do free shipping, which as a lot of you know who shop on Whatnot, that is kind of unheard of. So it was a really good chance to get a lot of good deals without having to paying um, all those extra fees of shipping, trying to count how much you're you know, paying on total all in on a book. But I actually picked a book that wasn't even on my radar at all that I'm really excited to get into. Um, a little sneak peek for you to that. No one really talks about third appearances. All right, but getting straight into it, first two books up, Adventure Comics. Uh, we have 305 and we have uh, 312 here. Nothing special about these. This is some 12 cent Adventure Comics, uh, early DC Silver Age stuff. Um, paid uh, two bucks for this one because it had one piece of tape right here and then three bucks for this one. Um, overall, just VG copies. Um, nothing really special about them just really like the covers but yeah i mean for a couple bucks free shipping so only had to worry about tax was not too worried about uh the price on these or the condition so really cool covers on these happy to have them in the collection so our first key of the lot was uh adventure comics number 372 this is actually the first appearance of the legion of superheroes as teenagers um i got this one for ten dollars i probably overpaid slightly or maybe that's probably what about what it goes for um but i was just really hooked on the free shipping uh, this one has a pretty egregious spine roll. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I really don't like the cover comparatively to the other two books that I picked up, but it was a minor key. Um, it was really having a lot of fun in the auction with the great deals that were being had. So I just decided to add this one to the lot, why not? Uh, you never know, maybe 20 years down the line, they'll this team will come out, um, Legion of Superheroes, but as teenagers, and this will be the book that goes up, who knows. Uh, but. So we're all just happy to get some more DC uh, Silver Age in the collection. Next up, so uh, we have a Fantastic Four book here. So originally I had uh, Fantastic Four number 57, I believe. Uh, the Doctor Doom cover will pop it up right here. Um, but I recently traded it with, along with a bunch of other books for my first appearance of Moon Knight. Um, so I was kind of dying to get another Doctor Doom cover back in the collection. Uh, the main one I want is Marvel Super Heroes 20. I'll toss that up right here. I think this is the best Doctor Doom cover ever. I mean, come on. It's pretty sick. But in this auction, we actually got Fantastic Four number 58, some great Jack Kirby goodness, because uh, the Marvel Super Heroes 20, I don't believe it's Jack Kirby, it's a different uh, artist, but we have some Jack Kirby Stan Lee goodness here, um, so Silver Age Marvel. Uh, I paid $26 for this. Uh, I think that's probably right on the nose what it goes for. I'll toss up the key collector stuff here. Um, so I probably, I think I paid at the time, I think I looked up right on the nose, but another thing about this seller, I thought I'd you know, toss in. These are the best bag and board books I think I've ever gotten, as in the, every book came double boarded uh, in nice mylar. I mean, it was like, this mylar seems like it's brand new. Like it still had, looked like it had the flakes coming off whenever they cut it at the factory or whatever. But um, yeah, double boarded bagged in a mylar. Every book looked like, I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, you could probably sell dollar books if you bagged them like this for probably three bucks a piece. Um, so really shout out to Chillectables for great packaging. Um, and display of the book. So I don't even have to go and rebag and board anything. So great prices, free shipping, and amazing bag and boarding. So uh, definitely go check them out on Whatnot whenever you get a chance. And uh, I believe on eBay and IG as well. Uh, I mean, you can actually see here on the back of the board. But yes, happy to get this one in the collection to get some more amazing Doctor Doom cover action. All right, so next up, uh, this book is related to probably a top five villain of mine, uh, Loki. And along with season two, my girlfriend's cat is named Loki, so have some personal affiliation with uh, the character that way as well. But we have Journey into Mystery number 91. This is the third appearance of Loki. And you can see very early Silver Age with that. You can see the different esque uh, 12 cent cover there. And the best part is he's still right there on the cover with, uh, you can see Thor tied up there. Not only is this the third appearance of Loki, it's also the first uh, mention slash appearance of the Val Odin's Valkyries, right? So uh, I think there's two specific Valkyries that are in the story that are, you know, named and everything. And then it's the overall this first mention of, you know, the Valkyries. So I'm sure you guys have watched Thor Ragnarok. It's all the story of the Valkyries and everything. So uh, really cool book here. But yes, how much did I pay for this book? I paid a total of $46. 
you believe that? $46. But it may look beautiful, but there actually is about a three inch spine split. Uh, it's basically from the bottom here that goes all the way up to the bottom staple. Um, it's in, to the bottom staple is attached. So it's probably like a 1-0. Uh, the top table still is attached, look a little rough though. But overall, the colors are really still true to uh, the original colors. Not a whole lot of fading. There's no egregious marble chipping that is very notable for books of this era. So still extremely happy to get this book in the collection. I'm probably gonna toss it up to uh, my Thor's hammer that you guys saw in a previous video. Um, so I'll probably toss it up there and then whenever Loki season two come out, I'll know that I have this book right here. But extremely happy to have this one. But yes, the 100 subscriber giveaway, we have 30 Appearance of Carnage, some Silver Age Marvel Tales, uh, Marvel X with Alex Ross cover, uh, House of Secrets number 108 here, and uh, Justice League of America number 108, second appearance of the Freedom Fighters. That's all you guys have to do to enter is comment next gen 100 in the comments. Toss up the example right here of exactly what you need to put in the comments. And I will do a random uh, comment picker off that hashtag and then announce it on the next video. And once again, on my Instagram, which you follow me at Next Generation Collector, and also on the community tabs page if you don't have time to sit through the next video. But once again, extremely, extremely, extremely appreciative of everyone that subscribed. Once again, I never thought, you know, 100 subscribers would even be possible. I was really inspired by uh, really two people to kind of start my channel. But the first being Mike at Lunch Money Comics. He really kind of showcases that you don't need a whole lot of money uh, to really have a great YouTube channel. And not only that, he really opened my eyes of what actual comics can actually be in your community. If you go out and look at, you know, weird and unusual places, he likes to say. Um, and another one is actually Mon Comics, Brandon. Yeah, but I remember in one of Brandon's videos, he mentions, you know, why not me? Why not? I just throw my hat in the ring. So that's kind of what I was doing here. Yeah, after watching both of them for a while, I was like, you know what? Well, I might as well throw my hat in the ring. So uh, shout out to those guys. So hopefully you guys stick around for the next 100 subscribers. And we'll have another giveaway then. Um, and another giveaway after that. And we'll probably be bigger and better compared to this one. But like I always say, I've been talking way too long. Hit the outro.